Hi there, it's Mario here. In today's session, we're going to run through a new feature that was just released into Ruby 2D. It's the ability to draw tiles from a single tileset image. So I'm going to run you through how that feature works uh, and give you a bit of a tour. Let's get stuck in. So before you start, you just need to make sure that your Ruby 2D version is a recent one. The feature was released uh, in 0.10.0 .0 in July, but um, you'll want the later version 0.11.0. Um, there's been some extra features that have been added around scaling and rotating and mirroring of the tiles. So make sure you're running at least 0.11.0 um, before starting this uh, tutorial. For the run through, I'm gonna be using some assets from Kenny.nl. I'll include the link below. We're gonna run through um, using this tileset image here, the pixel line platformer, um, just to draw some of these to the screen. So we're ready to go with our Ruby 2D program. I'm loading in the Ruby 2D library and setting the width and height of the window to something very small. We're only gonna draw a few tiles just for this demo, but you can draw as many as you like. I'm gonna run the program and make sure it works. So. At the moment, we're getting this blank window, so we're gonna start drawing our tiles in here. So in the same folder as my uh, tilesets Ruby file, I've got this uh, tileset which we've downloaded. Now, the thing to note about the tilesets is sometimes they can have different spacing and padding between the different tilesets. So in Ruby 2D, we can account for a, um, a padding, so around the whole image, and also spacing between the tiles. So this particular image doesn't have any padding, but it does have a one pixel space between each of the tiles, which we need to define. So let's create our tile set. So we're gonna create a new Ruby 2D tile set. Uh, I'm gonna pass in the file name here. So this is our tilemap.png and this is just a regular image file. You can do any image file. I'm going to set um, a few parameters. So we mentioned that there is no padding but there is one pixel of spacing here. Uh, spacing is one and then we also need to define the width and height of each of these tiles. So um, I've already checked this, these are 16 by 16 uh, tiles. So we'll set tile width 16 and we'll set tile height also to 16. Okay, so the program's not going to do anything just yet. So we need to um, first define um, a name for some of the tiles we want to use. On the image, one of the things I want to do is draw out this mushroom here that we've got. And so we need to figure out the coordinates for that mushroom. So this one here um, on the x-axis, it's in the first column. So it's in column zero. And then um, for the y-axis, it's zero, one, two, three. So an x of zero and a y of three. So let's define that tile. So it's the define tile method. I'm gonna call this mushroom. You can put any name you like there. And now we need to define the X and the Y. So we said the X was zero and the Y was three um, for this one here. After we've defined it, the next thing is to um, set where it's gonna appear so it can be drawn. So we're gonna call tile set dot set tile. And we need to set which tile we're gonna draw. We've only got one at the moment, which is our mushroom. And now we're gonna give it an array of um, places to draw out. So. Um, for each of these array elements, we're going to set an X value and a Y value. Um, and we can have as many as we like. So I'm going to create two here. I'm going to put one um, kind of halfway or two thirds through the image. So let's draw, let's uh, run the program and see if it's going to draw our tiles. Okay, so you can see it is working. One obvious problem is just the size of those tiles um, being very small. So I wanna make them um, quite a bit bigger. I could go and then modify that image in an Im image editing program and make it much larger, but there is a way to tell Ruby 2D just to scale things up. And that's by adding the scale attribute here. So by default, the scale is one 
and I'm going to say um, scale four. So this will be four times larger um, than what uh, the tiles normally are. So starting off, we have 16 by 16 tiles and scaling um, times four means each of the tiles is 64 by 64. So on our window, um, 192, that means we should be able to have a three by three grid um, of our tiles. Okay, so you can see we've got our two mushrooms drawn. One thing to note is there's nothing stopping you from putting any coordinate in here. So you can even have tiles overlap or draw them on top of each other. Um, but most of the time you'll probably be wanting to drawing them to a to a grid like this. Let's try one more quickly. So I'm liking these flowers here. So the X for this is 0, 1, 2, and the Y is the same. It's 0, 1, 2, 3. So X of 2, Y of 3 will give us our flowers. Okay, I'm going to copy our mushroom and we're going to draw our, our flowers out. I'm going to draw them on some different coordinates. So let's go 64, 64, and let's go 64 and 128. And I want to draw my flowers. Okay, excellent. So you can see now we're drawing out our multiple tiles. So you can see how you can very quickly draw um, an entire uh, screen worth of these tiles. Um, but that's not um, all of it. There's a few extra features that I um, want to show you as well. So one of the features is just around rotating of the, the tile. So when we define a tile, um, we can actually give it some extra attributes. So I'm going to copy this mushroom and we're going to do a rotated mushroom. So I'm going to call it mushroom rotated. And we're going to set um, the rotation here. So I'm going to say rotate. Um, let's do an Odd angle, let's do 45, um, and let's draw out a rotated uh, mushroom. Uh, just going to draw out one of these, and it's going to be mushroom-rotated. Okay, so you can see here the, um, the tile is rotating. We probably don't want to be doing that angle, obviously, so 90, 180 um, would work. So let's change this to 90. Um, and you can see now it's fitting nicely, but our mushroom is rotated. Excellent. The last feature I just want to run through is around um, mirroring or flipping the, um, the tiles as well. So I'm going to create another definition here and it's going to be mushroom flip. Let's call it flipped. And rather than saying rotate, I'm going to use the flip attribute. And there's three possible options we can pass to flip. So one option is vertical. And what this would mean is if you looked at the tile, the top would become the bottom um, and the bottom would become the top. So it's flipped on the um, vertical axes. We have horizontal as well. Um, as it sounds, the left becomes the right and vice versa. And then we also have uh, both. So essentially we're kind of creating a mirror image of the, um, of the tile. So let's draw out our um, flipped mushroom. I'm just going to copy this one here and we're going to draw our flipped mushroom. Going to need to draw it in a different unique spot. Let's try that. Okay, let's run our program. Okay, and you can see that um, not only do we have our rotated mushroom, but you can see this mushroom is, um, is flipped both horizontal and um, vertical. Um, let's just change it so that it's horizontal just to show that. Um, and you can see now it's no longer flipping vertically, um, but it has um, mirrored horizontally. So you can see there's a big um, little uh, hole there and, and, and that's now mirrored um, on that tile. So that's a run through of the tiling feature. Um, if you do end up building anything with it, please let me know. I'd love to check anything out um, that you're building. Um, please consider um, liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. And 
Uh, hopefully I'll have some more game content out very soon. Until next time, take care.